I remember looking out my bedroom window and th thinking I wanted to die. It was like it's a sort of virus that you feel you've been p possessed. Peter Longhorn has been suffering the effects of long COVID almost since the start of the pandemic. The former Pontins Bluecoat and Variety Entertainer from Bognor Regis spent five days in St Richard's Hospital. Since then, help has been limited, but he has nothing but praise for his GP and the 111 service. It was just the sympathy and the time that they gave me on the phone listening to me. They didn't rush me off the phone. They were really, really supportive because it is a mental illness as well. It affected me mentally. Peter is just one of an estimated 1.3 million people in the UK affected by long COVID, with half of those people suffering a significant impact on their lives. Trying to normalise your breathing pattern, OK? People like Stuart, who's now being treated at a long COVID clinic in Bournemouth. At the height of the pandemic early last year, Stuart spent six weeks on a ventilator and was given just a 10% chance of survival. Like most long COVID patients, fatigue and breathlessness are the main problems. It's teaching a new method of breathing. I've fallen into this trap of not using my lungs as I should do. So therefore, I hope that the, the tiredness that I am constantly suffering will disappear and I'll get some energy back. I'm going to count for half a minute. This clinic, run by Dorset Healthcare, has been open since July and has already received 900 referrals. But still the waiting list for treatment is huge, up to a year. This is Stuart's first session and his situation is not unusual. They're not always understood by people around them. Uh, they don't appreciate that fatigue is, a, is an obvious, you know, is a very apparent symptom and it's, it affects them a, a great deal. It can affect their ability to go to work. Um, their ability to socialise, and a lot of our patients are worried about getting COVID again, and some have had it a second time. So, of course, they're naturally quite worried and do tend not to do what they did before because they don't want to contract COVID-19 again. These clinics are the front line in the fight against post-COVID. They are a lifeline for many patients, but what the clinicians need is more ammunition to ultimately defeat this illness, which continues to affect so many people. Researchers at Oxford University, based at the John Radcliffe Hospital, are pioneers in the search for an effective treatment for long COVID. This is a clinical trial for a new drug called AXA1125. Inside the specialist scanner is patient Claire Hyam from Reading, being put through a series of tests. A year ago, Claire was a happy and healthy wife and mother of two children. Now she spends 20 hours a day in bed. It's an opportunity to get some diagnostics and some testing done and an opportunity to try a treatment as well because there's very limited um, cases for, or opportunity to have any form of treatment for long COVID. The drug being given to half of the participants aims to replace lost energy in muscles which the body can't provide due to the COVID infection. This drug is a mixture of five amino acids and an amino acid derivative, which act as fuels for the mitochondria, which, is, which are batteries within the cells or powerhouse within the cell, which are required for energy. And we're going to use sophisticated technology as well as measures of fatigue to then see how effective the drug is over time. The results of this trial are expected in the early summer, but researchers are being careful not to raise hopes too high. For now, the best treatment is still prevention. After his life-threatening experience, Peter is pleading for more people to get vaccinated. Today I feel very sad at people that don't want the Covid jab. I feel that they should go into a hospital, to the hospital maybe where I was suffering with Covid, and look at the effects of Covid on people's lives. Richard Slee, ITV News.